Greetings, people of Earth. The year is 2125, and all systems are go here at the NASA Space Station. In orbit around the Earth, we have constructed a space station the size of a small city. The ship, Proxima 1, is complete with every necessity and luxury known to humankind. Any of the 3,000 inhabitants can relax by the pool, take in a film, maybe play a game of 10-pin bowling, or just relax quietly in the library. Sure, there's some work to do, like tending the greenhouse and maintaining the food supply, and the occasional check to make sure the water production is online, but otherwise, it's all plain sailing. Their destination, the planet Proxima, an Earth-sized planet which revolves around Proxima Centauri, the closest star to us apart from our own sun. It will take the craft 20 generations, or 500 years, to reach Proxima, by which time it is estimated the total population will be approximately 30 to 40,000 people of all colours, creeds, and dare we say, mixed gene pools. Cryogenically frozen in the lower levels of the vast spacecraft are 2,000 of the brightest people the Earth has to offer. These fine specimens of humankind will be thawed and revived when the craft reaches its destination in the year 2625. It is they who will undertake the great challenge of running the new colony. This voyage is a vital mission for humanity. The future of humankind may well depend upon the colony's success. We need Proxima for its pristine atmosphere and clean environment because, let's be honest folks, we've pretty well stuffed up this one. So until 2625, it's bon voyage to all on Proxima 1. To the scientific team, it's sleep well. And to the ship's inhabitants, it's enjoy the cruise of a lifetime. This is Commander James Strong speaking to you from the bridge of Proxima 1. The year is 2130. We have been traveling for five years and the colony is doing very well. Many babies have been born since we left, so I guess we're about to encounter the first generation of kids who have never set foot on Earth and who never set foot on any other planet. I can tell you, with all these kids about, <laughs> it sure is getting noisy up here. This is Commander James Strong signing off for now. This is Commander Mark Strunk speaking to you from the bridge of Proxima 1. The year is 2170. We've been traveling for 45 years, and Houston, we have some problems to report. As a member of the last generation on board this spaceship ever to live on the planet Earth, I am becoming increasingly disillusioned with the next generation of space kids coming through. None of them seem to want to work. They seem to think that life is just one big party. Last week I went to the hydroponics room and found two dope plants growing next to the tomatoes. One of the first generation colonists must have smuggled the seeds on board. From now on, we'll have to be more vigilant. Several stills have been found. We believe a trade in moonshine may have begun. On a sad note, my father James passed away last year. He was a good man. He passed command on to me as I hope to do to my son, if I can ever get him off his virtual reality PlayStation. Well, this is Strong, signing off for now. This is Commander Strong. <laughs> the year is 2210. And Earth, we have some huge problems up here. The young people from the colony have just gone crazy. They had a huge party in the lower levels yesterday. Twenty kids put on spacesuits and painted anti-upper deck slogans on the hull of the ship. I think some sort of gang or class warfare is developing. Those of us old enough to remember Earth are vastly outnumbered, and we're too old to control the ship. I was supposed to hand control to my son 20 years ago, but he spends all his time in a virtual reality room making love to a hologram of Drew Barrymore. His girlfriend takes a new drug they call Brain Delete. She, be she believes in free love, walks into walls, and wears a bandana with Smash the Future written on it. No one reads. They watch videos. I heard some kids argue, arguing over who's a better actor, Moses or Charlton Heston. Everything is getting mixed up. I just don't know where we can go from here. 
God, help us all. This is strong. Over and out. Is it all man? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the thing's like flashing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Earth. I'm Sigourney Weaverson. <laughs> and I'm Jordan Hesterton. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the year is two, 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 two. As in four twos. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we just want to say one thing for the record. The upper level stocks man in the planet of the eighth room. <laughs> Book stock, sci-fi rules, power to the low. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Laurel. According to his computer, it's the year 2320. I'm from the upper decks. There's only a small number of us left. The lower levels, they've taken complete control of the entire ship. If they catch me here, they'll kill me too. Can you help us? From a small store book to be discovered, we believe we come from a blue planet, a light year or so from here. Can you confirm this? Who are we? From what we can work out, the tribe in the city. They stole the majority of books and discs decades ago. They worship the cinema and believe videos to be true. <laughs> are they? We don't know what to think anymore. However, some of us think that we have higher purposes. The room with all the plants in it is now empty. We, have, we need a new food source. Please, if you can hear me, help us. I am Arnie, ruler of this universe. It is a year you people know as 2360. I leave this message as a record of my greatness. Know this. I, Arnie, control the ship. My people feast upon the carcasses of the upper level dwellers, but their numbers dwindle. Soon we will have to eat the carcasses from the frozen room. My people and I believe ultimately that St. Schwarzenegger shall return through time, as he did in Terminator Book 2. The ancient tapes are the only source of the truth. Charlton Heston is God. Long live the Empire! Over the last 200 years, we've managed to colonize tens of star 
systems in the Milky Way, including the Proxima system. There's already a colony of 150,000 people on planet Proxima. I'll tell you what, I'll send up some entertainment and a few Proximians as a sort of a welcoming party. So you guys just sit tight and enjoy. I'm going to hop in the teleporter right away. I'll see you when you get to Proxima. Oh, uh, hours. Everything did go pretty smoothly, right? I mean, I don't want to press the point, but uh, Proxima is my system, and uh, if there were any problems, it'd sort of reflect badly on me, if you see what I'm saying. Okay, great. I'll send up that welcoming party now. Citizens of the Proxima One, welcome to Colony Proxima. Now, here to entertain you is the biggest rock band of the 27th century, known and loved in 16 solar systems. The pride of the western spiral arm of the galaxy, we give you the Space Cannibals. <laughs> citizens of Proxima One, welcome to Colony Proxima, the new world of wealth and plenty. Everything is fine on Proxima. These happy-go-lucky Proximians haven't a care in the world. It's all fun and games here in the colony. Censorship is a thing of the past. Anything goes here in what we like to call the Colony of Smiles. 
If it's action you want, then you've come to the right place. The colony is full of young men and women ready to escort you around the night spots. In fact, they've all been especially trained to provide unlimited pleasure and entertainment for you, our new arrivals, the first guests to the colony. Problems here in the colony? Not likely. Here we see some young people frolicking under the gentle glow of our new sun, Proxima Centauri. Proxima's atmosphere is as friendly today as the Earth's was once many centuries ago. And as you can see, these young gadabouts are as free as the wind to claim it as their own. Culture abounds here in the colony, from the fine arts to the modern architecture of the stylish metropolis. The plains abound with game aplenty, so if it's sport you crave, you hunt them and the colony will eat them for you. Yes folks, from new trends to new technology, from new nutrition to new nappies, the new colony on Proxima has it all, as we welcome our new arrivals from Proxima 1 to a planet where we're all one big family, everyone is totally free, and there is definitely no coercion of the population by armed guards whatsoever. To the scientists and citizens of Proxima 1, welcome to Colony Proxima. Why you feel? I don't know why you bother coming. You do it every time. Yes. Hello. What? Who is this? It's for you again. Bloody Max's kids. Tell them to speak English or I swear I shall scream. Look at this place. I know where to start. If that's you, Caniston, speak English, not that gibberish, you young Proxinians dribble! Aha! I knew something was wrong, lucky I came! Alright, leave it to me. I'll send your father up to you immediately. He should be able to sort out this mess as quietly as possible. <laughs> the rest of you, don't get any ideas. If any of those children get harmed, <sighs> you'll all pay. Adolf, is that you? Of course it's me. You're expecting perhaps Sharon Stone? Oh, I've got a job for your secret police. Well, I'll ask them, but they're pretty busy right now. Doing what? How should I know? It's a secret. Uh, well, you've got to have someone there who can attack innocent people. Let me see here. Yeah, I may have a few guys. Watch out and you hold the line video while I make another call. Looking for a well-paid career where you can bash the crap out of innocent people? Thinking of a future that means living in style while everyone else lives in subhuman conditions? Like to feel secure while all your friends live in constant fear? If so, then you've dialed the right number. Here at Terminator Training School, we'll train you and give you the right to hurt, maim and terminate anyone you want. All you have to do is anything we tell you. Terminator School. We're building a future based on hatred and torture. Be the hammer, not the name. By Greg and Mason Cyril for the cult of sci fi. Hello, Grogan. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, here's the deal. I got half a dozen new guys can do it, but they're only trainees, so I'm afraid you don't get the free nail remover. You mean nail polish remover? No, I mean nail remover. Ah, uh, well. Anyone will do. I only need a handful of troublemakers terminated. Well, you've come to the right place. We here at Terminator School pride ourselves on no return business. Speaking of which, what did you think of the video? We need to work on our PR. Uh, suit yourself. I'll have them up there in two. <laughs> Go march 
marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Greetings, my children. Thanks to your diligence and ingenuity, the colony has been rid of the scourge which for so long has lain upon it. Finally, I am free from my prison of ice and coke, and those who seek to subjugate the freedom of my people are captured at last. Right, that's it! This is definitely the last time I'm coming with you on one of your stupid adventures! And I'm leaving the band! Yeah, oh, shut up! <laughs> you are all my special guests. And as long as you remain on Proxima, you will want nothing. Anything you wish, you will receive. Bless you, children, one and all. <laughs>